The lion's mane nudibranch may not have the charisma of an actual lion, but their method of hunting is much more terrifying. In fact, it sets them apart from all other sea slugs, but it's not their weirdest feature. No, that would be a trait you'd never expect in an animal, especially not one that lives in the ocean. Before we get to that, though, let's talk about that goofy oral hood. You know, the big frilly part of their heads? That's where they get the lion moniker, as well as the much less fun common name, hooded sea slug. And that hood is totally unique to these slugs. And while it might look kind of awkward, it's actually a somewhat horrifying way of capturing prey. See, they use them to ambush their meals. Things like jellyfish, little planktonic critters, or even small fish. They just wrap it around their prey, then use those hairy edges, which are called cirri, to seal the trap shut. The unfortunate victim is then digested alive, because unlike other slugs, they don't have any hard bits for chewing or crushing. So we should be glad they top out at about 17 and a half centimeters long. But like I said, this disturbing hunting style is not their weirdest feature. Oh, and it's not those little paddle-like bits either. Those are called serrata, and yes, they're weird, especially since slugs can just discard them at will when they need to escape a predator, a phenomenon called autotomy. But even those paddles aren't their weirdest trait. What makes hooded sea slugs unbelievably bizarre is the watermelon smell. Yes, much like a Jolly Rancher or a scented candle, these sea slugs have a fruity watermelon scent. YouTube hasn't figured out smell vision so you'll have to trust me on this. They, for real, emit a melony odor. And that's thanks to a terpenoid. Even if you don't know the word terpenoid, you're probably fond of many of these smelly, usually plant-derived chemicals. They're what give ginger that gingery flavor, and why pine trees have that wonderful wintry smell. And one, called melanheptanol, melanol, or 2,6-dimethyl-5-heptanol, if you want to be technical, is distinctively melony. In fact, we use a synthetic version of this exact chemical in artificial melon flavors and scents. And lion's mane nudibranchs can emit it to deter their enemies. Apparently, undersea predators like sea stars just aren't as into the melon-scented stuff as we are. Now, using terpenoids defensively is something other nudibranchs do, too. But they usually get their noxious substances from things that they eat. Hooded sea slugs can't really do that, since, as far as we know, none of the slugs prey produce melanol. And last I checked, they don't have an assortment of fake watermelon candies to snack on, either. So they make it themselves in special repugnatorial glands. Then, since their predators flee from the fruity scent, the slugs can feel safe scooting about and wrapping those adorable oral hoods around little invertebrates to digest them alive. Ah, the beauty of nature. Before I go, let me give a quick shout-out to our SciShow patron community. Thanks for the nerdy discussions on Discord, and of course, your continued support. The team here wouldn't be able to make this show if it weren't for you. If you're not a patron, but want to learn more about our patron community, you'll want to head over to patreon.com slash scishow. And if you want to get a new, science-packed episode of SciShow delivered to your YouTube feed every day, be sure to click that subscribe button.